Faith, love, and hope are gifts of God. They grow and bear fruit of grace and compassion. No matter who you are or where you are on your journey of faith, God loves you and you're welcome at any United Methodist Church. Our processional hymn is Come Thou Long Expected Jesus, which can be found in your United Methodist Hymnal, Hymn 196. Let us pray. Beloved in Christ, as we await the great festival of Christmas, let us prepare ourselves so that we may be shown its true meaning. Let us hear in lessons from Holy Scripture how the prophets of Israel foretold that God would visit and redeem the waiting people. Let us rejoice in our carols and hymns that the good purpose of God is being mightily fulfilled. Let us celebrate the promise that our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, will bring all peoples and all things into the glory of God's eternal kingdom. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. But first, let us pray for the world that God so loves for those who have not heard the good news of God or who do not believe it, for those who walk in darkness and the shadow of death, and for the church in this place and everywhere, that it may be freed from all evil and fear and may be in pure joy lift up the light of the love of God. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer to God. In the words that Jesus himself taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our next hymn is, our next carol is, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, which can be found in our United Methodist Hymnal, Hymn 211. We'll sing the first three verses.
to God's people in exile in a faraway land, the prophet Isaiah announces good news. God is coming back and bringing the exiles home. Our first lesson is from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 through 8. Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. And I said, What shall I cry? All people are grass. Their consistency is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Our next carol is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, which is found in our United Methodist Hymn of Hymn 211. This time we'll sing verses 4 through 6. Prophet Jeremiah offers hope for a righteous branch, a just king who is yet to come. Our second lesson is a reading from Jeremiah, chapter 23, verses 5 through 6. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. 
The Lord is our righteousness. Our next carol is Emmanuel, Emmanuel, which can be found in your United Methodist hymnal, hymn 204. grown weary of war and weapons, God promises a king who will establish a reign of peace. Our third lesson is from the prophet Zechariah, chapter 9, verses 9 and 10. Rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion! Shout aloud, O daughter Jerusalem! Lo, your king comes to you! Triumphant and victorious is he, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Our next carol is Come Thou Long Expected Jesus, which can be found in our United Methodist Hymnal, Hymn 196. Prophet Haggai promises to God's people a temple even more glorious than the temple of old. Our fourth lesson is from the prophet Haggai, chapter 2, verses 6 through 9. For thus says the Lord of hosts, 
Once again, in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all the nations so that the treasure of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with splendor, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The latter splendor of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts, and in this place I will give prosperity, says the Lord of hosts. Our next carol is Lift Up Your Heads, Ye Mighty Gates, which can be found in our United Methodist Hymnal in 213. We'll sing verses 1 through 3. Prophet Isaiah announces the renewal both of the land and of God's people on the coming day of redemption. Our fifth lesson is from Isaiah chapter 35, verses 1 through 6. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and bloom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, Be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. And the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. Our next carol is Emmanuel, Emmanuel, which can be found in our United Methodist Hymnal, Hymn 204. Gabriel announces to the Virgin Mary 
that she will give birth to a ruler whose reign shall never end. Our sixth lesson is a reading from Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 35, and verse 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Our next carol is Joy to the World, which is in our United Methodist hymnal, Hymn 246. <laughs> Jesus proclaims the coming of the kingdom of God. Our seventh lesson is from Mark chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, 
who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is come near. Repent! and believe in the good news. Our next carol is Silent Night, which can be found in your United Methodist hymnal, hymn 239.
in the Advent seasons, when the past has fled, unasked, away, and there's nothing left to do but wait, God shelter us. Be our surrounding darkness. Be the fertile soil out of which hope springs in due time. In uncertain times, help us to greet the dawn and labor on, love on, in faith, awaiting your purpose hid in your waiting to be born in due time. Amen. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor everyone. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Our final carol is Away in a Manger in our United Methodist Hymnal, hymn 217. 